Daniel Chan was an official uh, torchbearer for the uh, Pan Am Games. Isn't that wonderful? Now, are you a huggy family? <laughs> learning, learning to Same do with that. us, you have to learn you know, to do that, that, yeah? So, Teresa, you must be very proud of Daniel. Share with us how you discovered that he had such a talent. I actually don't know he has that talent, to be honest, really. I just, because Daniel's a, a rather humble uh, boy. When he wins a medal, he just come home and put it in his straw. He doesn't want to come out and tell people he is good. He, he is, I guess that point, I think a lot of uh, young people just can appreciate learning that. He's just, uh, just a very humble person. He, uh, he just wants to do uh, the best he can. Uh, but a lot of challenges, I would say, very difficult is uh, you have to study, and then you have to practice, and then when you practice, you hurt yourself. Teresa, you're very well known as uh, an expert in uh, Qigong and through all your wonderful work in healing. So share with us a little bit about uh, that and also about you know how you have maybe influenced Daniel and some of your philosophy of life. Um, well, well, Daniel actually has been uh, practicing energy work from like four or five years old. So he take, basically take all the class I teach all in the last 20 years uh, until he doesn't want to take or something. Yeah. So he has, he's naturally uh, able to do energy work, healing, practicing. So what we do is we inspire the young people to connect with the universal energy, uh, connect them, bring it to yourself and then bring it to empower you and then you, you ground yourself and then you run. So besides Daniel's other athletes, uh, Daniel referred to my school, uh, they have actually greatly benefited. And some actually got medals. Too. Daniel, yeah. share with us from your own personal yeah. um, experiences uh, a little bit about the influence, but your, your core belief <laughs> in that. Uh, I think Qigong is a really big important part of my life. Um, I think at early ages it taught me how to breathe, and breathing is really important uh, when you're running and, and doing exercise and stuff like that. And uh, for me, Qigong especially helped when um, I had my injuries. I had three major injuries uh, so far, and uh, it definitely helped to speed up the recovery time. Yeah. And for those who don't know what Qigong is, just a quick uh, oh. summary for, for people who are new to Qigong. Thank you for asking that. That's a wonderful question. So it is just a breathing exercise, uh, uh, breathe up your nose, really. And then when you breathe, it's just not breathing. You, you actually um, are slowing down your breath and you focus uh, with a little mind control. And then you visualize. You visualize how the energy flow in the body. Uh, so it's a, just a, a series of gentle movements. So it's like uh, acupuncture without the needle, but Absolutely. with movement. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us or that people should know, either about yourself, uh, your professional careers, or just a philosophy of life? Yes, uh, I, I will always like to see my children uh, like the role model for the other young people. Um, you know, persist, uh, go through the difficult things in your life, find your life purpose find your passion, uh, don't give up on yourself, uh, don't hide behind the computer, do something about your life. You can do it. Wonderful. So I just noticed we have not been able to record everything. There was no uh, record, so we'll have to do everything again. Oh, awesome. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's recorded. It's recorded. It's so funny. Thank you, guys. That was an Thank awesome you. interview. We'll have wonderful snippets. <laughs>